Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the YouTube Business Academy podcast. My name is George, and today, as usual, I'm joined by my co-host, Ron, and Hessel here is at my place in Finland. For those of you who are watching, or not watching, but listening from Spotify or podcasts or not on YouTube, and today we're going to be talking another episode, our journey to $30,000 a month with YouTube automation. I don't know why I keep saying dollars because we are in Europe. So 30,000 euro with YouTube automation. We have some uh, updates to talk about over the past week. I got a strike. I'll elaborate more a little bit about that. We're getting some crazy high RPMs and I don't know what those RPMs are going to look like in November because those are just absolutely ridiculous. And um, also I got offered a brand deal. And with that in mind, I also want to ask the boys what has been happening on their end over the past week. As you know, search is pretty consistent. So not many updates that are super exciting or anything like that. But with that in mind, we do have a few things that I think are going to be very interesting for you. With that in mind, let's get started. I, yes. did, the in- I did the intro. So it's your time to talk. <laughs> My time or Hessel's time? Because Hessel's we had time. a yeah Hessel's time. Yes, yeah, come close. Okay, what do we talk about? You, you 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 tell us what happened over the past week. Okay, you ask me questions and I answer. Oh, okay, like that. Okay, sure. So, um, how many views are you getting right now every 24, uh, 48 hours? No, not twenty four. Every month. On the big channels, like it was one point three million. One point three million. Yeah. Okay, and about I think eighty seven thousand views every forty eight hours. Yes. And you don't have any strikes. No. That's amazing. But yes. a warning, right? Or also another warning? Yeah, but it was a warning from when I was like, um, just starting when out. When you was little? <laughs> years ago. Couldn't get it removed. So yeah, just uh, one, one warning on the channel. Um, yeah, it's been a very long time since I got a strike. So I think I'm pretty safe on topics. Um, I will see tomorrow that I get a strike when I wake up. But no, no, no I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not getting yeah. off strikes, but I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm uploading a lot of videos. I'm just really careful. Like, I have a good system in place with my freelancers. They know exactly like um, uh, when to ring the bell or when to come to me when they uh, think something might be off. And then we just don't upload it. I just see it this way. I don't want to risk like losing my channel for a couple of dollars a day in extra revenue. Um, risking like channel termination or getting a strike because that's the last I want. Can you elaborate a little bit on the system that you have in place where the uh, contractors are ringing the bell? Mm, Yeah, okay. So I do the keyword research myself, all of them. And um, I try to like mostly, of course, look for the keywords myself and qualify them already uh, if I'm going to make them or not, if they are potentially risky. Sometimes um, I do like uh, add something to the list that can be, uh, seem like risky and then uh, my freelancers they also know like what keywords to avoid like the word download install i tend to avoid them and also free in some cases not in all of them and then some of my freelancers are like hey you added this are you sure and i'm like no thanks for reminding or when they upload the video and the video gets flagged as uh, limited ads so the yellow box that usually means that there's something going on with the video Mm. and that the topic is um, like, could be, could be risky. And when that happens, we delete the video, don't upload. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I brought up the whole strike thing is because um, I actually got a strike on my second channel and um, you might be thinking this week or yeah, like literally a couple of uh, on Sunday, I think I got Yeah. Everything, Was it everything because of the don't of the the gambling one, a different, no, different one? No, I oh. took down I privated all the gambling videos from stake. What happened was, I'll tell you now, uh, a video titled How to Watch UFC on some um. kind of a streaming platform. Now, just for context, my guy literally showed the official website and he said, Go to the official website, sign up. He didn't say that you have to pay, but like yeah, I mean, he, he yeah. did send them to the official website and it wasn't showing some kind of gaining unauthorized access or anything like that. So very big learning lesson for me because did you appeal? I did appeal and, and got rejected and I reached out via Twitter. Yeah, because probably a, a bot then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is a very big learning lesson for me. Now, what is the learning lesson here? When you're just starting out, you don't really think about strikes because... Yeah, I mean, you don't have many views coming. You don't have much money coming, right? But then slowly as it starts to grow and like July, I'm, 
I like shy, like 80 euro shy of, of 2000 euro on both channels combined. So like it's getting there and it's really not scary, but it, it like, once you get a strike, you're like, Oh my God, like you can't upload for a week. And you know that if you get two more by any reason, and it's like, it's not people who are giving these strikes it's the algorithm. Right. And if you went ahead and did like, I had like over 200 videos, how to watch, you know, something on different streaming platforms. Right. So now I went ahead and privated all of those videos. So mm -hmm. yeah, the learning lesson here is that you need to be very careful and I'm going to avoid any kind of videos that can potentially make me a strike. How to download, how to watch, how to stream. Like what was the reason? Was it like harmful or spam or? It was, uh, you showed uh, how to gain unauthorized yeah. access to the thing. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. So they only base it on the title. The, the bots or like the detectors yeah. don't watch the video. No, itself. they don't. They don't. Yeah. The first time yeah. I appealed, it was accepted like within, uh, you know, five minutes or whatever. But this, this one is like, so yeah, if you guys are listening or watching this and you know, you're doing search or you're, you have views or whatever, like really be careful with the titles and with the videos you make because yeah, three strikes and you're out and it can happen very fast and it can happen yeah, to anyone. Like no one is protected from this. And we also got a question in the community like today, some guy asking like, is it safe to make videos about to get something for free while it is legally free? So I was, I was wondering uh, with Hessel, like you just said, sometimes free is, is allowed or is like safe. What's yeah. your criteria to use the word free? Um, yeah, it's like, for example, when it's um, how to get Minecraft for free, like that's obviously a, a red flag because there are, even though there are official ways through Microsoft and stuff to get Minecraft for free, it's still going to be flagged by YouTube. So that's a clear indicator for me to say no. But you also have things like how to make a website for free. Um, that is fine. I mean, um, creating a website is by no means like getting something for free that is actually paid. Like, yeah, you have yeah. paid and free web hostings, but um, yeah, that is safe. So it's, yeah, there's basically no entity, like Minecraft is an entity on its own, while yes. a website is like more a uh, big word. It's like, like a broad thing. Yeah, yeah that's exactly, not really yeah. one that they, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's true. Right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah, please avoid making anything that can get your strike. It's really not worth it, especially if you want to you know, play this game long-term and this is exactly what we want to do. And getting those strikes, man, is not fun. And especially when you have that little one, like that yeah, red thing I, right there. You have I have it right now. Mine is oh. expiring in in three weeks. Then I will just have the warning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's tricky. Um, because with the whole streaming thing, like you would ha wouldn't have a clue. Like you didn't know like the word stream is, yeah. is like illegal for the algorithm. Exactly. You're literally saying, go to the official website, sign up to them, and you can watch UFC, UFC on that thing. Yeah, so maybe you use the word watch in your title yeah. or stream. How to watch UFC on, I can't remember, the streaming platform. Like maybe if you change like the word, it would already be different. Like yeah. the stream is probably also a not good word. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's shady. And But like you can never see this like in advance with certain keywords because it looks no. so normal. You know? exactly. All over the place. So yeah, I yeah. think I think the safest bet is if you get a strike, this is what I did. Like I made a bunch of those videos. I made over like 200 videos, like how to watch something on, on something. And I went ahead and I privated all of them because, and it's like a 300 euro, you know, investment on my end, yeah. but I'd rather take that loss now and not risk getting another strike. And I think it's like a process of, learning basically which which keywords and topics are okay and which are not it's like most likely sooner or later i'll get another strike i don't know where but i'll try yeah. to avoid it but if i do then i'll be like okay this is another thing that i need to avoid another thing to avoid yeah but it's also because you are like going pretty broad with terms of search phrases like yeah. i for example mostly do uh, software and apps and banks for example but you yeah. are also like doing amazon stuff and the golf bag and like, it's all <laughs> good to know but like because you're going more broader, you also don't know which words will maybe yeah. be more dangerous. Exactly. By the way, talking about broad, broad keywords, someone commented on the last podcast that, oh, yeah. dropped, that about farming. 
I saw and it. he was like, because he, 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 he mentioned the tact, not the tactic, but the strategy I, I talked about last time when, when I was in Netherlands about um, Google ads sorting by top bid. And he was like, oh yeah, I know this tactic from long before. That's how I started my channels. And by the way, farming and farming equipment has a really high RPM and that's like, they pay a lot. And I thought it was so interesting. And then you reconfirmed as well that you have from experience, you know that they pay really fat commissions. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Because he's from Friesland. <laughs> right? that's, no, no but that's, I'm sure there are like many, many topics or niches like this. Um, but I would uh, never think that farming has a high RPM. Hey, before we move any further, here's a quick announcement. This podcast episode is sponsored by you. Yes, you heard that right. For those of you who want to take their YouTube game to the next level and join a private group of people who are all striving to make money on YouTube, you are invited to join the inner circle. By joining the inner circle, you will get access to monthly recurring calls. It's kind of like an online hangout where we chill together, discuss each other's progress, ask and answer your questions, and of course, hold each other accountable. Besides the monthly calls, we also have an extensive bank of content where we have our courses, recorded calls, templates, and more. So click the link down in the description and take your YouTube game to the next level. And back to the podcast. No. Me neither. But uh, yeah, how would you make content around it? Like faceless? Or like, yeah, or like faceless, just make reviews of different... Best tractor out there. <laughs> yeah, best tractor out there. I mean, people who are looking for a tractor, they don't necessarily want to see the tractor in like, like real life like thing. Maybe they want to know the specs. Maybe they want to know the... I think farmers want to see it in real life because they yeah, actually okay, need to use it. Gonna you know? <laughs> sure, they'll go and see the tractor, but maybe they want to, before they go and see, maybe they want to learn a little bit more about it. Yeah. They're not going to buy through your link. <laughs> yeah. $60, bro, imagine I, sell, imagine I sell a tractor, bro, with a video. That'd be Dude, sick. I saw a video today of Mark Cuban. He bought his private jet for like 40 million online. It's like the biggest purchase ever. So yeah. imagine having that one. Yeah. Bro, that's, that's a pretty, even if you get just half a percent, yeah. that's your uh, year's salary right there. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's interesting. I think there are many. Uh, niches out there and I'm try I'm using the keyword planner from time to time as well um yeah it's pretty useful but you need to have like a some good keywords you you need to put in like you can't put in like one or two you yeah, need no. to be a little bit longer exactly uh, but but it works but, but it's it also works. really random like uh some topics you think will have a high rpm and after like two to three hundred views the rpm is like shit and I'm like it doesn't make sense because it's for example in the finance niche or yeah so random sometimes i was i made a video uh it was like comparing uh american express visa and mastercard so all of them three and i thought come on that must be high rpm and it was like decent rpm it was above average i think it's maybe at around eight euro but it's nowhere close in comparison to other topics that i have on my channel no it, it, it's random so that's yeah, i don't know why but yeah. yeah, it really depends on. Like, I have no clue also how the advertisers, like they advertise through just Google Ads, right? And then then they select. They also want to advertise on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. But they just advertise on specific keywords, or like, do you guys know how how that works on their side? So I know a little bit about it. Do you know how it works? No. Okay. So I know a little bit about how it works. Basically, there are different ways to target. You can target for a specific channel. You can target for a specific keyword. You can target for a specific audience. Um, you can target like a topic as well. So it's going to show and like, it's going to decide which like videos to show and depending on the topic, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. So basically they probably want to advertise on their company name so they can decide, okay, we're just going to advertise on only our company name. So that's yeah. a short uh, phrase or basically or more specific yeah. ones. Yeah. Or, yeah. or let's say you're making a comparison video between two companies. They are like, they bid high for that because that search intent is very like buyer intent. Buyer intent yeah. exactly. And also Hesso, I know from like a while ago, you, you like in the early days, I don't know if you're still doing it. You put like drop shipping in the description if it's somehow related. Yeah, I do. Do you still do that? Yeah, like, sometimes. Or like other, other words. Yeah, like putting, um, I, I don't know if I have a good example, but it's just basically putting in keywords 
in the description or in the title, like drop shipping or like e-commerce, if it's somewhat related, so it's boosting the RPM. But you got to do that to some degree because the keywords still got to match what people are looking for. Yeah, yeah, of course. It works. You probably can stuff it as well. Like YouTube is smart enough. Yeah, for, yeah, of course. But when I make, for example, the tutorial about, okay, let's say Shopify, then yeah, I'll include dropshipping in the title. Or the yeah, of course. That but long sense. gone are the days of stuffing stu like things. Yeah, you know? but that's not stuffing at all. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's keyword true. stuffing is just like... Do, 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 yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Different but that, that was back in the day. Yeah, the same with tags. Learn. Like tags and stuff are dead. If, yeah. you're, if you're doing search right now and you're still using tags, yeah. you're wasting time. Yeah, I mean, I put like the main one. So I put the title and the tag and then I put some related ones. Um, and that's it. Let's say I'm doing like Shopify versus big commerce. I'm ranking for that, by the way. I'll put Shopify versus big commerce, Shopify review, big commerce review. And that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to do for tags. Yeah. And what about timestamps? I do timestamps for every video. Well, the, the longer videos, the short videos, I do timestamps, time but for longer videos, I do timestamps. Yeah. I do it as well, but somehow it doesn't always get indexed. Like I put them in, check some days later, I check incognito and I don't see like the chapter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Same. Uh, that's, that's just random, I guess. Yeah. Happens. Oh. oh, good to know. But talking about high RPM, I posted a uh, screenshot in the community in the results channel. It was uh, one view. 4,860 euro RPM. That one view made me eight euros and 86 cents. That's ridiculous. How what, do you, what niche? Can you reveal? The niche? Or, no, I'm not going to reveal the niche. Secret. <laughs> you guys both know the niche, but I'm not going to say it here out loud. It's too much money. Sorry, guys. <laughs> do I know the niche? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. you know the niche. I told okay. you. You know the niche as well. I showed I forgot you. The whole thing. Yeah, but it's, yeah. But, but it's crazy. Like, it's crazy man yeah okay but of course it's one view but still it's of course that's crazy but like yeah. is it a video that can potentially get more views or is it like really focused on a specific audience and it'll probably get like no bro this video gets views every day okay so it doesn't but get like, any views but it gets views every day so what's the rpm now like day, a day later or you, you can't see yet i think the average rpm is probably like 80 plus euros yeah okay so just like a peak yeah it was just like spikes basically yeah but yeah. this got me thinking this got me thinking what are like the highest rpms i can find i just i'm like i'm an rpm hunter that's my new name just call me an rpm hunter and then i started thinking and then the thing we talked about in the google keyword planner you go how to create how to do whatever and then you sort by top bid and then you saw that the highest one was how to create a google ads account yeah so then my reverse engineer thinking, I, I was like, okay, well, if, if people, if that, if they're bidding for that, who would bid for that? Well, probably agencies who help you run Google ads, Google ads, Google themselves, maybe, maybe Google themselves, but also I think agencies who bid for it. Could that's be, my, yeah. that's my thinking. I'm putting it to the, to a, like a hypothesis now. So the thinking is, okay. People who are searching for how to create a Google ads account are probably small business owners who want to boost their thing and they have like money to spare, right? The companies, the, the agencies who offer their services as in, hey, we're going to run ads for you. That's probably a very lucrative business. And I've talked to you about that Sebastian Georgiou. He is making really good money with a Google ads agency. Of course, there's a lot of skill involved, but anyway, so... What I did is I went ahead and I searched for Google ads agencies, Ad Espresso, um, Magix, something else. And then I went ahead and I went for, I looked at the YouTube incognito for, I just put it in and I saw the terms that were coming up. So there was like review and comparison videos. So I have a feeling that the RPM for something like Ad, Ad Espresso versus Magix is going to have a very high RPM. That's my hypothesis. I'm going to make the video and I'll update you guys and you two as well on what the RPM is going to be on that. But that's so my you're hypothesis. comparing agencies basically. Yes, okay. comparing agencies. Probably very probably very low um, search, search volume. volume. Yeah. But I think it will compensate with the RPM. 
Could be. I, I have no clue. Like, if I would think like an agency, if they're doing active outreach, I'm not sure if they would do it to Google Ads, but it could be. Like, I have no idea what the yeah what their outreach methods are, but it's possible. But yeah. you were getting some really nice RPMs on those videos. I remember that you showed me that we were doing. Yeah, and I'm actually focusing on more uh, higher RPMs. Like I, I have a co couple of good videos performing, like in terms of search volume, and yeah. like the like seventy percent of like some of those videos is coming from India. So it's somehow like I think it do it doesn't really matter for the RPM because it's a channel average. But like in terms of the audience I'm, I'm attracting, it's still like twenty percent India, twenty percent USA. So I'm really trying to get my content up in terms of for, for the USA audience, but also a higher uh, RPM topics. So yeah, the topics you've, you, you, you saw when you were at my place, I'm more focusing on, on those ones, but also I'm doing a little bit more affiliate. And so yeah, like I'm, I, I signed up to some, uh, some affiliate uh, programs through impact. Yeah. And also because yeah, I'm really, because you saw my dashboard, you said like the conversion on Shopify, I'm really curious how they will, like how many actually will convert? Because I think a lot of people will. Did I, did I tell you how much Marcel is making with the Shopify affiliate? Uh, yeah, 1K a month, something yeah. like that, right? But I don't know his, his, do you know how many clicks he got or like what his conversion is or his actions? No, but we got to talk to Marcel how many actions he's getting on average per month so we can estimate. Yeah, like something like that uh, would, would be nice because like I the clicks I, I collected is like from the past month. I think like 140 clicks and maybe 70, 70 actions. Yeah. But yeah. It doesn't say anything to me what an action is. So yeah, but we, we just give it time and I think we will see some nice conversions happening there sometime soon in a couple of months. Could be, could be. So mm -hmm. yeah, high RPM topics, RPM is increasing, but for my channel average, I think it's still pretty low. Like it's around three and a half dollars. But your second, that's the channel that you started is growing. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. man. It, it makes no sense. Like, like two days ago, it was a 3K views. Or like, three days ago, yeah, 3K views uh, every 48 hours. Yesterday, it was at 4K views. And now it's at around 4,600 views. Um, and it's what around... Are, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the whole thing is my main channel is like stagnating in terms of views. Like it's increasing bit by bit. Um but yeah, I'm I'm now between nine, like ten dollars to eight dollars a day. But like fifty percent of the views now come from one video. So if that dies out, it's over. But yeah, I I, I got a few the the ideas from Google Trends mostly, um, and doubled down on that. So Google Trends, yeah, dude, Google Trends is such a hack. If you guys are listening or watching this, please don't sign up to the Google Trends mail list. Yeah, I can give one trick maybe for people that want to target low RPM topics, but want traffic. Like basically you can search every week or every day on like TikTok filter or TikTok trend because there's like a new trend every day yeah. or a new filter every day that people want Did to I use. Did I tell you guys how I got started initially? Like you, uh, I showed you the graphs of my first channel and in the first month you, or first year, you could see like those crazy spikes. I was doing the same. I was following one of the channels. And he was making videos about random TikTok and Instagram films. I was like, what the yeah. heck? It's like girls with a filter and stuff. And they Google like, oh, how can I get this filter? So I just copied these videos. And some of them like went up like crazy. So it's really not sustainable. It like <laughs> dies down within a week. But yeah, if you want to get quick views and you want to monetize your channel, now go for it. Yeah, it works. And RPM is probably also low. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, but like if even if you do it maybe the past 30 days and you can see like maybe some longer trends going on, mm. it can still work. Like especially right now with AI, there are so many AI tools coming out. And of course, like many uh, apps or software tools will uh, will die out in like a month because it's a hype. But there are probably some tools that will stay for longer periods of time. Uh, for example, Pictory AI, stuff like that. Like those, those platforms are getting more popular. So mm. if you just keep an eye on those booming platforms, then... Yeah, you can uh, take advantage of it. I think Yuri made some picture AI. Yeah, he reviews. made a lot of like videos on his personal channel as well. Yeah, but he told me like the he plugged the affiliate. He was like the affiliate part, affiliate program is quite strong. And yeah. if you get a lead, but the the conversion was dog shit. By the way, Yuri, shout out, and we are waiting for you on the podcast <laughs> because I messaged him today. I'm like, come to the pod. 
And he was like, sorry, bro, I don't have time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But we are waiting for you, Yuri. You're, re- you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very good. Yeah, it would be uh, nice. Hey, we started also with Yuri, I think. The, the, was, it a, was it the mastermind or the podcast? Hessel, the mastermind, Hessel, I think. Yuri, apparently Yuri listens to our podcast when we do them with Hessel. Ah, <laughs> good to know. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put your face now on every thumbnail and then we'll just click bait Yuri to click. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, the last thing that I wanted to touch upon was, well, you guys, I have, I hope you have more points, but this is my last point that I'm bringing to the table today is uh, the, the, the screenshot I sent of the brand deal that I sent oh, yeah. out. It's not confirmed yet. I haven't got a response from them. Maybe they're like, who is this crazy guy to asking for so much money? <laughs> <laughs> but and I just want to share my approach, how I sent my rate. And I thought it was okay, but we'll decide if it was good or not, depending on their response. Okay. I sent it yesterday. So um, I reached out to one brand because I applied for their affiliate program and they were not accepting me for a long time. And I got, I was like, okay, let me just reach out to them. So I reached out. I'm like, hello, I've been trying to apply for your affiliate program and you guys haven't replied. Knock, knock, who is there? Can you please give me a reply? So then I get a response and they were like, hi, George, you are accepted. And by the way, our team went through your channel and we think you're doing amazing content. So we want to take our partnership to the next level. And we're interested in if you make a review of our thing, of their service. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. And she, then she asked like, what's your rate? So then my response was, and I'm going to read it out to you, like exactly what I said. Well, not maybe word for word, because that's probably going to give away the thing. Uh, But this is basically what I said. I said, hi, it's great to hear from you. And I hope you're having a lovely day. I would be happy to make a dedicated review video about uh, to ensure we rank high in Google and YouTube for that keyword. I will make a high quality script and cover the most popular questions people ask on Google and make a positive review about the company. This will be a great signal for the algorithm to rank this video higher in the search results, which will ultimately drive more traffic and leads to the website. My current rate is one and a half thousand dollars per video. It sounds crazy just even reading that out. And I believe this video will generate great business for you guys over the next six to 12 months. So what I'm doing here is I'm talking in terms of their interests. I'm not talking in terms of my interest. Attached is a screenshot from my share sale analytics. You can see that I have generated over $2,000 of business for their competitor with only about 700 views on my channel. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Kind regards, George. So not only did I like wrote, like I really took the time to write it, but I I showed them proof that my content, if they invest in in it, is going to make them money back. And this is what Dale Carnegie talked in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, is that you should always talk in terms of the other person's person's interest. Because every person is only interested in themselves. They have their own self-interest. And if you are able to talk in terms of the other person's interest, then you're going to win all the friends and influence all the people that you ever want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And probably she reaches out to you. She's like from the marketing department. And she, of course, needs to get good results for her boss. Yeah, so of course, yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, it's a, it's a decent meal. And I think the rate is, is decent and it's pretty normal for that niche. Exactly. Like, of course, we didn't reveal the niche, but the niche is basically, it also ha- if it was only for YouTube views, it has a high RPM. So like they make a lot of money from like when people convert. So then $1,500 is not exactly crazy. And I was thinking, okay, how much should I charge? And I started off with like $250, right? And by the way, we're gonna like, we can't say right now if, if it works or not. So keep an eye on the pod. I'll update this about this later if I get a response from them or not. If they say, hey, no, that's too expensive. Maybe I'll negotiate a, a new budget. But basically the way I thought about it was, okay, What's their lifetime of a customer? How much are they spending on advertising? Because I have the data and I can kind of see the RPMs and everything in that niche. And based upon that, that's how I came up with the rate. Yeah, makes sense. 
So we will see. We will see. Hopefully uh, this will work out and have some positive reviews. Otherwise, I'll just be like, okay, that's too expensive. <laughs> no, but it's good. Like uh, I had this, the same, like with my other brand deal. It was like, also, I was like, I can ask like $100 a video because like a video doesn't cost me so much. Yeah. But they reach out to me. So they probably have uh, money to spend. And yeah, you just need to try as high as possible. So yeah. From now on, I'm always going up and up and up compared to my last offer and see where it stops, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I also think it's a, it's a, like, it's a strong message because I attached a screenshot of how much money I generated with how many views for their competitor. Yeah. You know? So and I th said, that, hey, that's 700 really views generated over $2,000 of business for your competitor. This is going to make you a lot of money and I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that, that's good. I, I actually, by the way, got today an email as well uh, from a company that reached out to us. To reach out, yeah, and they had a very like weird structure. Like I told them, she wanted a video about uh, their affiliate program, and I was like, "Fine, we can do that." So I, I gave her my, my rate, and then she said, "Oh, we have a, a, a formula formula within our uh, company that we use. We the formula is the number of subscribers divided by hundred. So basically, if you have 10,000 subscribers divided by 100, you get $100. Like, and I replied to her, thank you for your reply, but it doesn't make any sense for us since subscriber account does not say anything about how the video will perform. With tutorial videos, it's all about ranking your video the highest place possible on Google and YouTube. That's what we do and that's what you pay for. So I said, maybe if the formula changes in the future, we can work together. But like, when I read that, like, it makes it made no sense because yeah. you see so many big uh, channels with a lot of subscribers getting like <laughs> shitty views. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. But to me, that just says that they have very little idea about <laughs> how they this, have no idea yeah. how the space works. Exactly, exactly. So, you know? yeah, so she she replied back. She said, uh, "No worries. Maybe in the future we can work together." But that's like a very like still it would make me a, a profit of like uh, fifty dollars if I would do it. Yeah, but then I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to uh, to accept everything. You give them free cash for that. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a, for them. It's like, yeah, but 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 think about it. Like, <clears throat> think about how much power we have, and because we basically know how to drive attention and traffic to any business. Yeah. I, I can say pretty much any business. Yeah, yeah, depends on like the competitor, the competitiveness of the, yeah. of the niche. Yeah. Um, but I also got like yesterday a one that was even more crazy. They pay per amount of views. So it's, if I got 25,000 views, you get $200, 50,000 views, $500. In, like, what, in what time span? Uh, just a few. So let me see if there's anything specific in the email. Like he sent me like a ta table, what do you call it? Yeah. Like uh, with, with, the, with the views and the uh, amount of money you'll get. Um, we usually require the video to be completed within one week and payment will be completed after two weeks. The video posted according to the views. So the views after two weeks, they check it and then they pay. Some, yeah, something like that. I already said, said to him like, this is very strict. And then he should just <laughs> reply, hey, sweetheart, it takes about one month for the video to start ranking, but don't worry, you're going to make your money back in about a year. <laughs> yeah. But like, it was also for like a, an AI chatbot, so probably just a new tool and they'll probably want some videos out there. Um, yeah, like on certain, because they, they want to rank on their company name or software name, yeah. there is no search volume on that name yet if it's yeah. a new company. So you yeah. get like, so, like no views, yeah. like very low amount. That's true, actually. If it's a new business, it doesn't have any no search volume. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, exactly. So you won't really be able to drive traffic to that business. Yeah, you need to make a video that's targeted for browse. Like, whoa, this is the best uh, AI chatbot out there. Blah, blah, no, blah. Or you just make like... Oh, um, or you just... You don't have to person. make the name. No, but, but what is the problem it solves? Does it solve, for example, how to use webcam backgrounds on Omegle? Then you, you just change the title to how to um, change the background on Omegle. And you yeah, feature exactly. the product. So, or let's say that you want to promote a company that does, um, like a chat bot. Yeah. I got a, I got an email as well. I think yesterday or something like a chat bot for websites, AI chat bot. So 
I also got back to the guy, I replied to him and I was like, yeah, we can rank for this keyword. I searched it up. And I think the keyword was like how to get or how to add AI chatbot to a website. Pretty good keyword, by the way. Yeah, I actually saw this keyword today. <laughs> or yesterday. Saw that as well? Yeah. Bro, why do we keep looking in the same direction? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and 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 uh, the guy, and then and I sent him the rates and I gave him like a really decent rate. I think I sent him like, a couple of hundred dollars and then to which he said sorry that's too much for me i'm a startup are you interested in, a, in an affiliate like commission which is like mm. that's not gonna work you're like, not gonna bring them any leads no. gonna like it's, it's gonna be maybe you're gonna make like five euros yeah like, exactly and like is it really worth the time no. for me to do that no nah, and it probably is not really higher pm so i was like nah whatever i'm just gonna not reply to that email you know what i mean yeah yeah makes uh, sense but it's at least nice that uh, companies are reaching out. Like it it's is. a good sign. Yeah, it is nice. But um, yeah, besides that. Yeah, I don't have anything else. I don't know if uh, <laughs> you guys have anything. Pretty stable, consistent traffic with the search. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, yeah. we explained many times before, like uh, th there's not anything sexy about this whole business model. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. But it works. Yeah, yeah, and that's the that's the nice thing. So, uh, yeah, and that that's what I enjoy this the st stability, you know, and uh, yeah. seeing it grow. But in terms of like, there are no crazy things happening, and it's slowly growing. And yeah, we'll see where it. Uh, what do you want to say? Up. I wanted to ask Ron one very important question. Oh, okay, here it's coming. When are you coming to Finland? The end of August, probably. Like the same with Alexi around that yeah. date. Yeah. Oh because my God, you guys are gonna be crazy. Because uh, I will get the shipment in here as well, mid mid August from a, from an e-commerce company, so I need to make shipments. Blah blah blah. Very uh, very cool. Uh, <laughs> Listen, and, don't underestimate the thing that you're doing, bro. When I saw, yeah, but I don't enjoy it so much anymore. Guys, um, like Ron is talking about this thing like it's some kind of a small operation. It's really not. He has like a. I saw it. It's a huge warehouse, bunch of boxes. He's driving that little thing that it, it's lit like a forklifter. Yeah, yeah. You know what I did? I got on the forklifter and he started lifting me up. But I was like, come on, higher, higher, higher. Ah, <laughs> like, too no, tricky. you're going to break your bones. Yeah, yeah. I'm Russian now. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, but the thing is like I, I got used to it. I have the company already for four years. And yeah, I want to grow YouTube automation, like the, the search channels, because it's like more consistent. And in terms of cash flow, it's just... Like the, the revenue I'm doing, it's nice, but it's it's not ending up in my pocket. It's ending up in my uh, supplier's pocket and, uh, and the the belasting dienst and uh, <laughs> all those people. Yeah, at least it's putting food on your table. Yeah, exactly, and that's nice. Uh, but I hope like within one year I can fully uh, pay myself from uh, from search, and uh, I think yeah, that's that reasonable. Nice, reoptimize those profit margins. Exactly, and have a really healthy business. And healthy body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great podcast. Ron, I wish I could do that to you as well. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching, listening, subscribing. And we will see you in the next week's episode. Ciao. Yes. Ciao.